Hey, what's up my loves? Jasmine Atten here. Thank you so much for coming back and joining me here on my channel today. Uh, this video is actually going to be kind of like super short and, um, you know, just kind of informal. I've been wanting to show you guys this and I wanted to do a big video on it, but it just hasn't seemed to happen. So I figured, you know what? I was putting it together now. Why not take a second out? What I'm talking about is travel altars. And I carry a travel altar with me mainly when I'm traveling but sometimes um, you know if I know I'm gonna be away for like a night or something like that away from home during a new moon full moon a night that I need to do a ritual um, or I'm going someplace maybe that I may want to sit and meditate and get quiet short trips anything like that I always take a travel altar with me um, a lot of people ask you know how can they practice magic or how can they still perform their spells if they're like in a hotel room or on the road or on the go or something like that and you can now of course I always say this and I'll say this again magic is all about intention and energy okay these are tools that we use to help us focus energy and tools to kind of help heighten the energy that we're bringing and to aid in the request but you can do a spell with you know a little bit of not much of anything on hand so always keep that in mind um, this travel altar I'm going to show you is like not fancy. It took me just a few minutes to put together with supplies that I have at home. You can tailor it to whatever it is that you need or what you normally carry. But the idea, idea of this is supposed to be small, compact, and have all the elements that you need to at least, you know, sit quiet and focus your energy or do an actual spell if you want to. So I'm going to... I'll just do it like this because trying to move my camera right now ain't going to work. But what I have here is a little Altoid box. And you guys know this is like the regular size Altoid box. Two bucks at your local pharmacy, CVS or whatever. You can use anything that you want. The reason why I like the Altoid box itself is because it like, you know, it kind of locks closed. I don't have to worry about anything falling out, breaking or spilling, and you'll see why. So I have a couple of things here in my little kit and actually I'm gonna move you guys so I can show you what I have so hold on be right back okay so inside of this kit all I have are four representations of the earth's elements and that's what I normally use to set up my altar so you'll see on the upper left hand corner I have a tea light candle to represent the energy of fire I have a little incense cone here for my representation of air, a ametrine um, to represent the earth, and then a little, I love this thing, one of my YouTube subscribers sent this to me. This is a little container to hold water. So I'll either have water in there or I'll have, um, sometimes I'll put a little bit of Florida water in there or another type of hoodoo water or some holy water, but that's for water. And then of course you need a lighter so that you can light these things. Um, there are so many different ways you can use this. So if you just want to sit quietly with a stone and a candle and meditate, you could do that. You have your incense. Maybe you want to have your holy water or Florida water, whatever it is that you use to anoint yourself or even to anoint your candle or the space that you're in. So there is a number of ways to do this. You can use any container you want. I just chose this little mini Altoid box. Um, I've taken it on the plane, on my carry-on. I've never had an issue with it. Um, I it's small I can fit in my purse if I'm just going away for an overnight trip or something to that effect and and it's mainly just really convenient to carry small compact um, it also fits inside of this little thingy right here so for traveling of course you want to keep it you know to a minimum for me however because I got a lot going on I always carry my crystals with me so this is like my little uh, I guess my like my little witchy bag on the go and this goes in my purse and it, I carry a few different things in here I carry my smudging spray that I made. This is um, Palo Santo and selenite I might do a short video on that. It's pretty simple, but I might do it But I carry this with me so I can smudge myself <laughs> I can smudge myself getting in and out the car coming out of a place if I left somewhere or if I was around someone that I just felt like oh, that, that energy was a little a little hazy then I'll spray myself um, I also carry, of course, my bottle of money oil. Um, I carry some stones, because I carry a lot of stones. So I have my uh, raw um, rose quartz, my raw clear quartz, and I also keep 
which I'm not going to go through the whole bag, but I keep a bag of different stones with me, and that's sort of what I carry on a regular basis. Oh yeah, and also my Organite, this little baby. Got this from Amazon. I really like it. Um, these were like two for eight dollars, and it took me a while. I go to the stores and I want to buy Organite, and I'm not really sure how I feel about certain ones, and this one just seemed to catch my eye, so I got this, but I really do like this one. And that's, um, yeah, that's my travel altar and my little witchy bag on the go. So I hope this video was helpful. Maybe it gave you some ideas or some inspirations on doing a travel altar. If you carry a travel altar with me, hey, leave a comment below. Let us know what you use. You know, it may help someone else kind of figure out what to put in theirs. Um, and yeah, so anyway, again, thanks for watching, you guys. Hope all is well. Have a very wonderful and safe holiday. Uh, this sound coming up, blessed be, and I will talk to y'all soon.